Welcome to the Yoga with Laurie series. My name is Laurie, and I'll be guiding you through an iliopsoas release. This is something I was talking with my students about today. And the iliopsoas group of muscles that consist of the psoas major, the psoas minor, and the iliacus muscles come together to create a, a combination or a binding of the spine. They start at the back, come around to the front, and grip hold of the pelvis and the femur, creating essential movement for the body to locomote forwards. Unfortunately, due to our sedentary lifestyle, as well as the constant state of stress many of us find ourselves in, the psoas major muscle in particular becomes very, very tight. We can stretch the muscle, but we also need to release it. Today we will focus on releasing that muscle. So I recommend that you have a couple of things handy. You could either have something to bring the legs together, like a necktie, a yoga strap, or even a belt. I'm going to choose the necktie, and you may have either a folded towel or blanket to support the head if you have some kind of head tilt issues. We want to keep the head in neutral tilt. I'm going to lay my blanket out quite thin under the head. Let me demonstrate. So we want the, the knees to come together. The toes and the feet will be apart, approximately the distance of the sit bones. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to secure my knees together with the necktie. This way, it's going to make my job easier to relax. So once I've secured that necktie, I'm going to come down onto my back. I hope you can see the position of the legs. I'm propping up my head for neutral head tilt. And with this, what we call supportive rest pose for the back, already I can feel there's a release. My lower back is slightly imprinting into the carpet. My knees are held together, so I don't have to worry about that and I can relax. Ideally, if you could spend up to 30 minutes a day doing this, you would find in a short period of time a letting go, a releasing of a lot of the back issues and hip issues you may be suffering from. But let's assume you only have five to 10 minutes a day. Even this on a regular basis, you'll start to feel and find a change over time. It's also a good time to introspect, contemplate or meditate. So you can have the eyes closed or open. You can use this time to focus on the breath, practicing the different breath techniques we've been learning in yoga. It could be a good time to listen to a guided meditation. And because this stretch is related to stress relief, it would be ideal to
do this release in a place where you won't be disturbed. Where your sympathetic nervous system won't be activated with phones ringing or other disturbances that may interrupt what you're attempting to do. Now I won't be here for the full 10 to 30 minutes, but what I will do is fast forward you to the end of the practice when you release. The releasing of this pose is also important that you don't activate or spasm the back when you're finished. As you come to the end of the practice, slowly pick the knees up, slide the necktie or the belt down the legs, and release it. Bring one hand under the head as you bring the knees up and roll to that side of the body, making sure that you take a few breaths here to relax. Take the top hand and bring it down in front of the chest for support. Press it into the ground. I'll rotate a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Extend the top leg out to counterbalance the weight of the chest. Slowly roll that top shoulder forward and down. Bring both hands under the shoulders and support yourself for a moment. Just for a few breaths. That creates a nice rotation. And then slowly come up to seated position. So in this little so as release, I hope this is helpful and I recommend that you do it on a daily basis. For more information, go to my website, yogawithlaurie.weebly.com and I look forward to seeing you at my classes or checking out my work online. Namaste.